Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show. We are so excited to have Alexander Craig here joining us today live on the podcast and on the Zoomcast today from Personal Level Fitness. That's right. She's joining us live here to talk about her amazing one-on-one personal training studio. Welcome to the show today. How are you? Good. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How's weather out in uh, Columbus? You know, it's not too bad. It's actually kind of nice. It started to cool down a little bit. So we like that. Yeah, same here in New York. <laughs> well, excited I get to see you. We've spoken so many times uh, via on the regular podcast. So it's great to see you. And I know you brought a special guest, Fred, with you. Hello, Fred. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice Happy to meet here. you. So great. I can't wait to meet you. And uh, first and foremost, tell us, Alexandra, a little bit about what personal level fitness is. Um, Yeah, so Personal Level Fitness, we're based here in Columbus, Ohio, around Upper Arlington. Uh, We are a private one-on-one personal training studio. Everything we do is individualized. Uh, When you first come into our studio, we have a cardio room up front that you can use anytime. And then as you walk through the studio, we can train three people at the same time, but each person is in their own room with their own trainer, like Fred, and their own equipment. So it makes it really safe. Uh, We really watch people's form, and then we can really have some good conversations about nutrition, cardio, and goals. I love this. Well, this is exciting, and I'm glad you're both here today. And, you know, (laughs) since this is our first show, before we get into all the work that you do and all the beautiful rooms and studios and the one-on-one that you offer, I want to find out just a little bit about you, if you don't mind, because I know you said you wanted to change your body. It was You were in your teenage years, right? And that's when you started, like, hitting the gym and loving it. Could you share a little bit about your background? Um, Yeah, so I started at a gym, a small gym in my hometown, and um, the owner and some of the other members there taught me how to lift, and they did a really good job, and then it just really got my interest in helping people and helping them get to their goals. Um, I wanted to go into physical therapy, and then when when I got to Ohio State, I went into exercise physiology because that sounded more up my alley. Um, and got a nutrition minor at Ohio State and then worked independently as a personal trainer and then opened my own studio with my husband. So it's worked out great. (laughs) And how many years now have you been here for? Uh, it'll be, the studio will be open 20 years in March. Oh my goodness. (laughs) Congratulations on that. And I know there's so many different, uh, success stories. We've talked about your clients. Uh, we talked about, um, but we want to talk again more about your approach and the specifics of what you do there because clients really like this. It's, it's private. It's not that open area, which I don't personally like. I know you didn't personally like it either, but tell me what benefits the, you know, your clients because of this privacy in a sense and the feeling of, you know, not having to, you know, be judged by someone who may be a little more advanced, a little more fit than us. Yeah. So, and you can help me with this too, because you, you do a lot of the training as well. Um, they just feel very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Uh, they know that my team really cares about them and they know that they're there to help. Do you have anything to add? Um, when I think about the privacy of the rooms, there's two words that come to mind um, is safe and vulnerable. So it's a safe space. Um, there's no judgment. Um, not to say that other open gyms tend to produce that, but it can yeah. be hard to get ourselves to understand that mentally inside of them that we're not being judged. So being in that privacy allows it to be safe. And also we're allowed to be vulnerable uh, since it's just that trainer who is listening. Um, So we focus on trying to hear that client and see what exactly they're trying to say rather than directing them to specific things. Yeah. Got it. And what can I just ask Fred, how long ago uh, did you join the staff here? And, you know, how did the two of you actually meet? And I would love to hear a little bit of your background, Fred, since you're on board. Of course. Um, my name is Frederick Pista Fifth. Um, I graduated from Ohio Dominican University uh, roughly three years ago with a bachelor's in exercise science. Um, there is where I played college football. So I did a lot of like leadership and doing a lot of captain work uh, for the team. So I always had a role in kind of like directing people in a certain path. So I always want to help people reach a certain goal. Um, and then after I graduated, I moved back to Dayton, Ohio, and I knew I wanted to come back here to Columbus. <laughs> Uh, so I moved out here 
And I was probably out here for about a month and I was looking for a job <laughs> and I was already certified uh, for personal training and she was actually the first employer that kind of um, set up the interview process. And ever since then, I've been here. So it's been about two and a half years I've been here at Yeah. Yeah. Mental Level Fitness. I was lucky I snagged in. Oh, that's great. And I know, you know, we want to do an overview of, you know, the services you offer. And then we're going to dive into more about, you know, the benefits of your studio and, and your trainers and helping to those to recover from an injury. So I don't know, where did you want to go next? Let's do the injury recovery process because I think that Yes. people don't know what to do when they get an injury. One, we have a lot of clients who come in with issues already, be it hip, knee, shoulder, whatever, low back, and they're not doing anything about it. You know, they're just kind of tolerating it and that's tough. So I think When they come in to see us, we can really work with them on certain things. But then sometimes we have to encourage them like, hey, you need to go see somebody and get this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now it's gone on too long. People are very stubborn. So aren't they? Oh, very. <laughs> very. It's not going to away. change. Yeah, it's not going away. <laughs> so, um, so Fred is really good at, we've both had, Um, different injuries and have had to recover from that. And Fred and I were talking a little bit before the show about just the mental aspect and the physical aspect. Uh, yeah. And for me, it was very mental. I had a hamstring tear. Um, I had had a labral tear years ago, just from hip dysplasia. So just my body was like, yeah, you're, you're going to have to have surgery because your, your body is a little off. And so I did that. And Yeah. you, you have to start over and it can be very depressing. Um, but as you work through that, it's slow and steady wins the race and you really have to do your rehab for that. But I think mentally it's just, it, it's very hard, especially when you're super active. Oh, yes, of course. Um, I think starting out by just finding clarity in the situation and figuring out a plan to attack it can help calm down people. I think everything seems very overwhelming. If you're feeling pain and you're uncomfortable, life is not fun. It's not Yeah. fun. Uh, so if you can kind of sit down, relax, take a, a deep breather and focus on finding a plan, I think everything will go smoothly. Um, and then after you find that plan, usually the first step, I think, is rest. Because we get a lot of people who Yeah. tend to overdo things. Mm -hmm. Like you just mentioned before, Mm -hmm. they want to actually push through the pain instead of let's focus on why we are feeling the pain. Um, a lot of this might consist of breaking down our everyday movements, understanding that the movement patterns that we do could actually be causing the pain that we're feeling every day. Um, so it's kind of taking a step
Oh gosh, so much stuff. Sometimes Depression, it's just right? Anxiety. Yeah. I was reading that, and especially Yeah. since the pandemic. Yeah, it's the depression and I think anxiety and um even with the recovery there's so much when you get an injury you you do get very depressed and I think people don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um and that that can be very overwhelming like Fred said and tough to get through but just getting out of the house and coming in and being in a positive environment is super helpful especially when you have that one-on-one -on -one where they're really really caring for you and really showing sympathy empathy because a lot of people you know we've had people come in and you know they get very emotional and these guys handle it beautifully I mean it, it's just part of the process but um Other things like anxiety, depression, uh, it's it's a real thing. And I think when people come in and exercise, they they just feel so much better when they leave um, yep. and it helps mentally overall. It is. Fred, I told um, um, Alexandra that I, I stopped working out back in 2014. I have a seven and nine year old and I started walking. I've walked three times now total, not much, Yay! <laughs> but because I had the kids and I'm busy. And then now we were, we're sick this week, but uh, with our colds, but um, just simply walking, but I'm so inspired to feel my body. It feels so good. A little soreness on the back of the calves and the butt. And I'm like, wow, I'm not doing much, but it feels, it just inspires Stop crying. you. And I think a lot of people that may be listening, watching, you know, who have out of that loop forget it's like, it's like a drug. It becomes addicting because it makes your body feel better. What's happening in our bodies. You guys are the experts here. When you start working out, what, what, what hormones are we releasing? What's happening? Because it feels so good. <laughs> A lot of happy hormones. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> yes. I think a positive feedback loop starts to, um, it starts to fire in your brain after you're doing a workout. Um, it's kind of similar to, you might've heard about how people in the military have expressed that making your bed in the morning is an achievement that you can kind of mark off. There's a task that I've done. Um, a lot of times working out is probably the most challenging Yeah. things that people get. I think um, people tend to say, once I make it here, I know that I'm good. The hardest part is just getting in the door. So once you get there, the workout goes smoothly. It's something that you can check off the list. Usually the most challenging thing that you had during your day. Um, when we're dealing with clients. These are everyday people who have completely different occupations than exercising. Mm -hmm. So everything else in their life might feel very controllable <laughs> yes <laughs> or things that they're used to. This is a realm that they're just yeah not used to. This is something that is completely different. Um, so I think checking off that that workout off the list allows them to feel so much better because it's like I've achieved something. mm -hmm. oh And yeah then second, you see results. I think results drive people tremendously. Like yeah when you see, oh, I've lost a pound on this scale or my clothes are fitting so much less or so much looser than they were before, things start to, <laughs> it's like a flywheel effect. Yeah. You build momentum and you feel amazing because your body is changing in a great way. Yeah. So It's true. amazing. <laughs> well, what else did you want to make sure we cover for today here? Um, you know, according to the notes, I know you wanted to talk about people really in general that a lot of people do feel that we're not getting anywhere, right? And you got to trust the process. And could you break it down to us, the types of uh, packages you're offering, right? Because you need that commitment, you need that accountability, but to come once isn't going to cut, cut it, right? Right. Tell us the process of what you all do here, if you don't mind, at personal level. So, yeah, absolutely. So um, when someone first calls in, I chat with them a little bit over the phone. They come in, they do a free session, and they always do it with one of my team members. And then I will sit down with them afterwards. And we have a very candid conversation about what do you want to do? Uh huh. Is it realistic? Um, what are you willing to do? What are you not? What are you not willing to do? Because that makes a big difference in someone's goal. Um, someone can want a six pack and want that all they want. But if they're not really willing to change their nutrition at all, they're never going to get there. Um, strength is another one. You have to, you have to actually lift to get stronger, right? Yeah. Um, Yeah. you have to put in the work. So 
that's, we're always looking for people who are really ready to make a lifestyle change Uh huh. because we don't want it to be a quick fix. We really want it to be a lifestyle. So um, like our smallest package is a 25 second session package and we have a ton of other packages, but if they're doing three times a week, which is really a good amount, it's not too much, not too little. Yeah. They can really start to see some changes within seven weeks. Wow. Um, usually they're putting on muscle, losing a little fat. And then by the end of that seven weeks, their clothes are starting to get looser and they're uh -huh. But it's hard to get through that first seven weeks because yeah. they're, you know, you're waiting on the scale to go down and we don't focus on the scale. We really like to focus on body fat and making sure we're maintaining as much lean mass as possible and taking down the fat. And a lot of that is, you know, it's a lot of work on the nutrition side too. Well, also you're, I just want to point out, you have serious credentials in that department too, right? You are mm -hmm. um, a nutrition coach and is it a mm -hmm. master coach? It just, could you share what yeah, that is? With the, yeah. Precision nutrition level two master coach. Yeah. <laughs> well, you want to hear something? I don't know if you've watched this yet and I just started on Netflix. I don't know if it's any good or not, but it's called, you are what you eat. Oh, okay. I watched the hunger hack. Oh, okay. I haven't watched. And I started watching this the other night and I'm okay. looking, I'm, I, it's like all identical twins and they're setting up for, it's like an eight week challenge. And one of the twins is doing all plant-based food. One's doing meat and I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm assuming the plant is going to win. I don't know. Cause <laughs> I, they, they started talking about the meat and the, the industry yeah. and I'm like, what? I don't know. But, um, it's fascinating what, you know, this could do for your body. Just the way you eat could fuel us, can change us and not everybody's aware of that. People think also just workout, workout. No, you have to have your nutritional goals in place. And you is there do. anything in particular nutrition wise that you want to share with us today about the importance of nutrition and any tips or tricks? What should we be doing? How much water should I be drinking a day? This always confuses me. It's like <laughs> my weight divided by as much something. As you can, so you no, okay. float away. <laughs> but isn't it like your body weight multiplied or I don't know. <laughs> Um, I think everything is relative towards you. Okay. Uh, so it's hard to give a one size fits all answer when it comes to water. Okay. Or nutrition. Mm -hmm. um, let's take protein, for example. Okay. Um, the normal rate of, or normal amount of protein that we should be eating is going to be um, roughly um, double the kilograms of our body weight. Um, but it's going to be a lot compared to what the normal person is going to be normally using. Okay. Um, so we always try to start people on lower levels because it's about making lifestyle changes like she mentioned before. So if I tell you, hey, I want you to <laughs> eat 150 grams of protein right now, what would you yes. tell me? I, if I, I eat, eat 150 grams of protein every day, what would you say? I can't. Huh? <laughs> what? Right. I'm like, I know my peanut butter is like seven if I do one tablespoon on the thing and then I'm like uh -huh. two, but... I'm not supposed to be eating that much protein, am I? <laughs> they say it's half your body weight. No? See, I right? don't know. So if I'm 120 pounds, should I be eating 60 grams of protein? That just scares me to hear that much. <laughs> it's probably much more closer to roughly 100 grams of protein. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But we would never start you on that. Yeah. Because wow. that's where it comes into working into your lifestyle. Um, I think a lot of like fat diets tend to, make drastic changes for people and it's yeah. not something that you can continuously keep up. Mm -hmm. So you might lose a lot of weight. You might feel a little unhealthy and then it's going to quickly turn around because it's not something you can sustain. So mm -hmm. I'd rather say, Hey, why don't we try to do 50 grams of protein today? Let's just see how it goes. Okay. And I'll mm -hmm. measure how confident you feel in it because it's not my goal. It's your goal. So I want you to feel confident that you can achieve it first before we even start off and set ourselves down that path. Yeah. We start with 50 grams. Can we try to build that up to around a week or so? Maybe we're building some consistency. It's actually quite easy. Let's raise it up to 60. So that's kind of the route that we would more so take because we're trying to have something sustainable. Um, I always tell clients, yeah, 100 years. I think, we, <laughs> I think we, our bodies are amazing. They can do a wonderful things. So can we at least reach 100 years? Yeah. If we're going to reach 100 years old, we've got to sustain these life practices. God bless. God bless. Absolutely. <laughs> There's so much we have to do, right? And you as our experts, I mean, and being in this field for so long, it's just like you see the results. And on the website, I also want to point out there's some amazing 
before and after results. I love hearing the client stories and experiences. If you wanted to share any, I'd appreciate it. My goodness. Yeah. Um, we had a girl, um, who was coming for a while and she had to go off on her own. And she, the first thing she did when she got to the studio, she was like, my stomach is in my gut are just not happy. Yeah. And so we had to sit down and we just went through everything that she ate that made her feel good, that she didn't have a reaction to stuff that was, eh, you know, um, on the fence. And then yeah. stuff that she felt was like, I have a really bad reaction to this. And she did a great job, but I also prepped her like, Hey, this is not going to be easy. If you really uh -huh. want to take control of this, then let's just put in the work for a couple months and see what happens. Yeah. And I tell you, she did it and she did amazing. And she was so uh. thankful for that because she's like, I haven't had any gut issues since forever. And she said, every once in a while, I can add some stuff in on the bad list. You uh -huh. know, it doesn't affect her. And so that was, a that was amazing. But she lost, you know, she was working out three times a week. Wow. She lost three or 4% body fat. Um, and then she kept that going over the year. Um, she was an ice skater that had just started when she started with us, just started taking lessons. And then she came in for a fitness assessment just to check in and she was doing competitions. It was amazing. Oh my goodness. So just the eating. If her gut was messed up, she wouldn't have been able to do that. Um, but it gave her so much more confidence and hope, um, that, oh my gosh, I can have a healthy, happy gut, yeah. do some stuff. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. And that's just, you mentioned BMI. I just remember the old school days and, and, and all my do they would like pinch your fat with a thing. And then I uh -huh. saw on that TV show, I mentioned, I thought, there's like a, a machine you can lay out like an x-ray machine and yeah, it tells like you your BMI. <laughs> what, 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 how do you get yeah. your BMI these days? What's, what's, what's the way to do that? <laughs> so we have a scanner. We, it's called a Staiku. Okay. And, um, you actually stand on this little turntable. It rotates you 360. Okay. Put your body into a computer and it tells us all sorts of stuff. And we don't do um, body mass index. We really like body fat um, and looking to see how much fat and muscle you're gaining or losing. And that is a huge sign as to what we need to tell you to do nutritionally. So it's a really helpful tool, don't you think? Oh, extremely helpful. Um, I think we got a lot of clients too who really focus on the analytics and mm -hmm. they love looking at numbers. Mm -hmm. um, so for those people, they are uh, very, very pleased to see things where they can actually pinpoint and focus on those type of numbers rather than just saying, hey, go do this, yeah. and try mm -hmm. and we'll see what happens. So there's oh. like actual study-based things behind it. Yeah, it's we're very scientific and have a process that works. <laughs> and I know you guys yeah, love you happy clients it. and love making your clients happy. It's nothing better I know, we than do that. We really care about our clients. Yeah, we really, we love them all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we still have just only three minutes left in the show. What else did uh, you and Fred want to share for today? Oh, let's see. If, if you are struggling with depression, anxiety, yeah. or an injury, do your physical therapy, come in, do the exercise, um, eat healthy. That's going to make you feel better. Take some deep breaths. Um, but there is hope and you can make a change. Just, just really start out small, keep it balanced, but really just start out small. Perfect. Um, that's, that's what I would suggest. Oh, I love it. And anyone can start at any time in the simplicity of your own home, right? Lift That's up, correct. maybe not the water bottle, but you could start like lifting. You. If you're walking, yes. I can walk. I got, look, I have the job, I have the kids and there's been enough excuses over the years, but the truth is that my time is limited. So by yeah. starting just by walking and then eventually when the sports die down soon next month, I have more time after that. And maybe the kids can go biking together, walk together. So it's everything in moderation for sure. Yeah, and you'll be a great example for your kids too. Well, thank you. Thanks to you guys. And I just love the before and afters on your your website. Uh, yeah, you know, great. all the clients that you've touched and, you know, what they're doing, what they're saying and how they feel. It's just, it, what a great rewarding job you guys have. And um, how did you want to leave off for your listeners today who may want to get inspired with this one-on-one -on -one training? And again, for those of you in the Columbus area, especially, um, and then also virtually, if we're in out of state, yeah. are you offering anything virtually too? 
We do. Yeah, we do um, training online. So they can always give us a call here at the studio 614-488-0004. And then if they are wanting to do something virtually, we do do that. And we would love to do that. Um, they can connect with us on the website, yeah. um, personallevelfitness.com. And then they can also shoot me an email, personallevelfitness at gmail.com. Um, if you have questions for Fred, he's super knowledgeable. Um, or myself, you can always email me and then I will pass those questions along to Fred as well. Beautiful. Well, thank you guys so much for being here again. And how can we reach you? Uh, 614-488-0004, or you can do, um, the email personal level fitness at gmail.com or go on our website and you can contact us that way and see our testimonials at personal level fitness.com. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. And I'm you. so sorry. I'm so nasally sounding today. Oh, it's okay. Uh, it's allergy um, season. I know, right? Oh, God. And Colsey, the kids are bringing it home from school, but I'll be better next time. But thank you guys so much for for sharing this and for being here. And I hope people reach out. And are we back again next week? We are. Oh, Zoom show? Yes. Awesome. Even better. I love it. I I know. And next time, I don't know, just uh, if you want, you don't have to, but you could pull up some like those before and afters. You could bring on another guest if you'd like, but I would love, you know, we could do that. Peruse the website and check out some of those stuff. Just an idea. All right. Okay. Thank you guys. Bye, Fred. Nice meeting you. Thanks again. (laughs) Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on mytuner-radio.com or search Podcast Business News Network on streamer.com and onlineradiobox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.